Bezos or Bezos the Beginning is a 2023 or 2022 movie, depending on where you look. It's a hagiography hey on Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon. The film is directed by uh, Koa Lee, I think that's how you say his name, um, and is written by Allison Burnett and R.V. Romero. Uh, the movie stars Armando Gutierrez as the titular character. Alex Mitchell plays Mackenzie Bezos, now known as Mackenzie Scott, after their divorce. And Kevin Sorbo plays Leonard Riggio the man who owned Barnes and Nobles. The film is based on the book uh, Zero to Hero by Tashini, Tashina Ebanks. Um, and so this is kind of the whole reason why we're doing the video because when I looked it up on Amazon and Goodreads and, and I looked it up multiple times to be sure, at first I th thought somebody had put a joke on the IMDb page. So I went back and re-rented the movie just to double check and yes, it's based on this book called Hero Zero to Hero by Tashina Ebank. She's done two, one on Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And I think it's she, I'm sorry if it's not. And the other one is on Jeff Bezos. These are children's book for ages five and up. Um, so um, the movie being so superficial and bland and boring, it actually kind of makes sense a little bit that it may be based on a children's book. But um, I did another review, and, and I've kind of scrapped that, and I'm, I'm doing this now because the more I thought about it, the more that this really, really irritated me and really, really angered me. Um, and um, so uh, I don't know if that, that video will ever come to light. But I want to talk about the fact that this movie is based on a children's book and what that means. Um, so I'm not sure at what point the based upon credit was applied, if the writers used that or if it was a, a, a right purchased after the fact by the producers. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb here and I'm assuming it's the producers. Um, this seems like something they would do. Um, and it's not that I know the producer specifically, but it, it, that that's generally who would do this, um, especially in this case. Um, and what's wrong with this movie is right from the start, there's this cynical attempt to grant this movie some form of legitimacy by saying it's based on a book. Um, it grants the audience zero intelligence or agency and assumes you're not capable of looking up books on the internet. This movie has no respect for you, the viewer. It's a cynical crash, cash grab. Um, but the acting is fine, the directing is unremarkable, didn't see a boom mic anywhere. Um, it's ultimately a really boring film, which is hindered even further by this truly inexcusable mantle of authority it tries to give itself with this based upon credit. Um, and also um, to, to Sheena Ebanks, the writer of the children's book, I'm sure you were very excited to get a royalty check from selling the rights to your book, but you should have understand the cynical attempt being made and kind of stood up against it um, just with just a little bit of integrity. Um, just a little bit is all it would take, um, but because I'm sure that check couldn't have been that much given how cheap um, this movie really is and looks. Um, also, um, uh, piggybacking on last video, um, Film Threat gave this movie a high rating. Um, so another reason that their site is a shitstorm of bad reviews and should be avoided at all possible. I give this movie a one out of five. I don't know what you're talking about. 